our number 10 spot we have tarantulas. Yeah, I've never been a spider person myself and those of you that are, well, Honestly, I'd love to analyze your childhood. But in any case, yes, a tarantula was once discovered in a hotel room. Probably the most frightening thing ever. A couple was on a trip in Thailand and going to bed when they saw a shadow on the wall. Obviously being nervous as to what the heck it was, they immediately turned the lights on and Bam, there it was, a giant tarantula on the wall. Holy crap, I'm pretty sure I would have been terrified to sleep again after that, even after it had been removed. Coming in at number nine, we have infestation. There is a certain level of pest that every hotel is allowed to have, which makes sense. You can't let one ant shut down an entire hotel. Well, sometimes this can get out of control, and that doesn't mean the hotel is going to call the health inspector to get everything sorted out. They're gonna try and deal with the problem in secret before anyone discovers their dirty little secret. And that is what happened to Redditor CSS Wizardry. He was staying in a hotel and when he got to his room, something was very strange about the floor. It seemed like it was constantly moving, like the floor was alive. Now he had just come in from a long plane ride and the extreme heat, so he assumed the reason that he was seeing this was because he was a little dehydrated. He tried to relax and drink some water and see if the strange effect would go away, but after some time he looked back at the ground and lo and behold the ground was still damp dancing around. Turns out there was bugs all over the ground, so many that it made it look like the floor was alive. Mm -hmm. In our eighth spot, we have the hotel glasses. Maybe you arrive at your hotel after a long day of traveling and all you want is a nice cold glass of water. But I must warn you, never use the bathroom glasses for a drink. Why? Well, first off, undercover cameras at a hotel revealed that maids often don't wash them out with soap before the next guest arrives. If they look clean, then they are clean, even if they aren't. Not only that, some hotels clean the water glasses with furniture polish to make them look extra clean and shiny. Drinking furniture polish residue can't be too good for your health. So you're either getting really dirty, unclean glasses or shiny, toxic glasses. You pick. Coming in at number seven, we have pillowcases don't get changed. Apparently this is a little trick of the trade. One way hotels will cut down on cost is by doing an eyeball over the pillowcase and seeing if it's dirty. If it doesn't look physically dirty, well, it's good for another round of guests. So the dude who is just sleeping on your pillow with eczema on his face and acne on his scalp, well, those hot, wet juices are now soaked into the pillowcase and they're about to be soaked right into your face. Yum. Apparently this is something that hotels do because most people don't use all the pillows and this saves money and time. The cleaners have less work to do by replacing all the pillowcases so they can get in and out of rooms faster. And they have less laundry to do at the end of the day. This makes everything more productive at the cost of your face skin. On top of this, this really cuts down on the amount of pillowcases they have to buy. Because I don't know if you know this, but nothing does more wear and tear on your clothing and bedding than the washing and drying process. So before you lay down in your next hotel room, check to see if there's any leftover scabs on the pillowcases. Mm -hmm. Making our way down the list number six, we have the dirty sheets. I'm telling you, I'm never going to stay the night at a hotel ever again. I am so grossed out and it only gets worse. So hotel workers have been exposing some of their dirty little secrets on an app called Whisper. This app is meant for you to confess your secrets anonymously. And some of the things the hotel workers revealed were very disturbing. So one person revealed why you should always be polite to the hotel staff. Because at their hotel, when people are rude or disrespectful to them, they change their sheets with dirty ones from another person's room. Ugh, yikes. So when you're out thinking that the maids are cleaning your room, nope, not at all. They're making sure you're getting a good night's sleep on someone else's dirty, stained, sweated on sheets. Coming in at number five, we have workers have the safe code. Make sure you leave all of your passports and everything worth something to you in the safe. No one will be able to get it and you don't need to worry about any of your stuff getting stolen. Well, what if you forgot the password? Do you think that stuff is just gone forever and the hotel will have to buy a new safe? No, not at all. Most hotel safes have a master code that anyone can put in at any time. Sometimes it's something as simple as zero, zero, zero pound. Now you hope that only the higher level hotel staff have access 
access to these things. But the truth is that word normally gets around and several of the people who come into your room to clean it or make sure that everything is working properly have the password to your safe. So maybe hide your prized possessions in a more clever place than the most obvious place in the room. In our fourth spot, we have bed bugs. One thing you should always, and I mean always do before unpacking, is to check the bed for bed bugs. Untuck the sheets and inspect that mattress. Why? Well, hotels have had very bad bed bug problems. Someone could easily bring these bugs with them, and during their stay, the bed bugs get settled into the hotel bed. Then, when you stay there, they will be biting your legs at night. They can even get into your bag and come home with you and infest your house. And it takes thousands of dollars to get rid of a bed bug infestation. So, watch out. Too many hotels have had a bed bug problem, some of them even ignore it to save money. Coming in at number three, we have sometimes things get skipped. Not everything in your hotel room is going to be clean. Sometimes things are just not going to see any sort of sanitation. The biggest things are things that get used all the time, but you don't really think about cleaning in your own home. Things like remote controls, light switches, and lamps. Now, do those really need to be cleaned? Well, when thousands of people have touched them before you, it would be nice if they saw a little soap and water. But sometimes big things get skipped over. This happened to Redditor professional intern. This person was staying in a hotel, they laid down their luggage, and then they were ready to step into the bathroom and have a nice shower. Little did they know they were in for a big surprise. The whole bathroom was covered in pubes. They said there were so many pubes, it seemed like it was a practical joke. You would expect the bathroom to be clean when you come to stay in a hotel room, but I guess this place had a different policy. Coming in at number two, we have the hidden cameras. No, hotel staff have not installed hidden cameras in your room. It's actually worse than that. Creeps have been going around installing undetectable cameras in hotel rooms. They then watch your every move, or they stream you online for others to watch. It's disgusting. In 2019, there were a bunch of news stories about travelers finding hidden cameras in their hotel rooms. Typically, these cameras are super small. Like, they can fit inside the cross of a Phillips screw head. That's how small they are. These cameras get placed on smoke detectors, alarm clocks, and even shampoo bottles. In South Korea, a crime ring was busted after secretly filming and live streaming over 1,600 hotel guests. It's so creepy and a total invasion of privacy. And since the cameras are so small, they could be anywhere in your hotel room. And coming into the number one spot, we have sleeping in a dead man's bed. When you have thousands of people coming in and out of your hotel every year, some of them are old, some of them have health problems, and some of them are just unlucky. The thing is, someone is going to die. Maybe they will die in the tub. Maybe they will die in that one chair that every hotel room has. Maybe it will be in the bed. But the scary thing is, once this does happen, the room will be closed down for a short time. Literally, a sanitation crew will come in, remove the body, the cops will come through and check to see if it is a homicide, and the cleaners will come through and do a quick flip on the room, and then it's back on the market, baby. So in less than 24 hours, you could have a room that someone just died in, flipped and ready for the next guest. So next time you stay in a hotel and ask for an upgrade, and they tell you, oh, a room just opened up, maybe you should ask them why the room opened up. At number 10, we have a bunch of heads. After this kind of experience, I wouldn't be surprised if you quit your job cleaning hotel rooms and move to another country and start your passion project of selling watercolor paintings. Sounds much nicer than what we have going on here. This story was written on Reddit by Reddit user The Lock. He said that he ran into a maid in a hotel that was distraught. She was running down the halls screaming and crying. Now maybe she just walked in on a couple having sex and it scared her little eyeballs. But it turns out that it was much, much worse than two people just bumping uglies. It was a bathtub that was fully loaded with human heads. But you can guess what happened next. They called the police and the dude who was staying in the room was arrested. But get this, the guy never ended up going to jail. How can you have 10 heads in a bathtub and just walk away without even a slap on the wrist? Apparently, this guy worked for a cadaver lab. He was transporting the heads and left them in the tub to thaw. So next time you take a bath in a hotel, remember Remember, that bath might have been used to thaw out some human heads. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ah. In our number nine spot, we have a firearm. A maid was cleaning the hotel room one day when she found a firearm, a revolver, under the bed. <laughs> Whoa. That would very much terrify me. I would probably have had a moment of, you know, looking around the room, feeling fearful that someone scary was hiding and going to jump out of the shower or something any minute, so. 
yeah, that would have been terrifying. <laughs> Anyways, unfortunately, the hotel was unable to locate the owner as the hotel only vacuums under the bed every six months. I wish. I wish I knew what hotel that was because every six months doesn't seem very sanitary. You would think that the maids would still look under the bed just in case there isn't any inappropriate, you know, adult items lying around, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. In our number eight spot, we have a webcam. This one is another one that's uh, probably out of one of my worst nightmares and feels like it's also straight out of a horror movie. A man was just, you know, unpacking his things in his hotel room when he discovered something flash in the vent. Of course, being curious, he decided to inspect it. What he found was a webcam. Who knows where that footage was being streamed to, but it is still so, so freaky. The camera was seemingly dying as that's why it was flashing, but Lord knows how much it already streamed. Pretty nerve wracking. In our number seven spot, we have the toenail bag. Look, I understand if you fast forward this one because when I read about it, I almost puked in my mouth. But then I had a sip of my delicious coffee beside me and all was well in the world again. One day, when a manager was on duty, the cleaning staff reported to him that they had found a bag filled with a disturbing amount of toenail clippings. Oh, <laughs> so gross. If there were more than 10, then you know that whoever had this bag was keeping maybe theirs and someone else's, but but wait, <laughs> actually it doesn't matter how many because the fact that they're keeping them at all, let alone in a bag for whatever reason is, is very disturbing. <laughs> is that like a weird fetish that I've never heard about? Yikes, that's so gross. <laughs> I can't help but laugh, it's very disturbing. In our number six spot we have baby ducks. Apparently there once was a guest that possibly rescued a bunch of little ducklings after their mother died, or perhaps she was the reason their mother died, that part is unclear. Anyways, this guest kept the ducklings in a hotel bathtub and must have gotten bored and decided, all right, well, peace out ducklings, I'm over you, and then just left. Well, the hotel staff, of course, found the ducklings in the tub and then they transported them to the hotel office where someone came by and adopted them, thankfully. Even though the woman who put them in the tub is definitely questionable, I guess perhaps it might have been good as they might have had a harder time without their mother and who knows if they would have found their way. I don't know much about ducks and how long they need to be with their mom, but hopefully whoever took them took care of them well. In our number five spot, we have a bloody Bible. Well, this one is a bit intense to say the least. In a Motel 6, of course, a Motel 6, in Riverside, California, a man found a Bible in his room allegedly with blood smeared all over it. Of course, he concluded that this was either a a satanic ritual of some sort, B, someone who really dislikes the Bible, or C, someone who accidentally got a severe paper cut while reading the Bible. It happens. <laughs> if I ever found a bloody Bible, I would instantly assume that I had been cursed and would probably get on my knees and pray. Not that I'm very religious, but that scene would surely make anyone pray, right? Am I right or am I right or am I right? <laughs> I would then proceed to call all of my loved ones in case I die, and then begin to also persuade someone to pay for me to move to a Hilton where they leave little chocolates in your room, not bloody Bibles. This isn't an ad for Hilton. <laughs> in our number four spot, we have a snake. One night, a maintenance technician was working what he thought to be yet another shift, but boy, was he wrong. Around 10.30 in the evening, he gets a frantic call from the front desk lady telling him that he has to go check a room out now as there is a snake in there. There's a snake in my boot. I couldn't help myself. He thought that something was miscommunicated or someone was playing a prank, but when he got to the room, he saw three guests terrified and yep, there was indeed a snake in the room. A massive one too. It was wrapped around the pullout sofa and it was right at the part you would have had to go to pull it out. Yikes, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. I honestly am undecided as to what's worse to find in your room, a tarantula or a snake. We'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. In our number three spot, we have a corpse. I'm sure you were waiting for this one. I wonder how many times this has happened in hotel history. I really feel for hotel staff, man. They have to deal with so, so much. Baby ducklings, tarantulas, snakes, corpses. Whew. 
Anyways, a corpse was found underneath one of the beds in a room. The body was wrapped in a bag and the police suspected to be about a week dead when it was found. So that meant that a number of guests stayed in this room and slept on this bed with a corpse underneath it. That's it. I'm never staying in another hotel room without checking underneath the bed. These hotels really need to make their staff check under their beds more often. How scary. In our number two spot, we have the Rolex. A man went to his hotel room in Las Vegas only to open the door and discover a number of diamond necklaces, gold rings, and Rolex watches laid out on the bed. The value was anywhere from $30,000 to $100,000, probably closer to $100,000. Anyways, he just thought he had the wrong room. So he went downstairs, confirmed his room, and sure enough, it was his room. He decided to tell the staff what he found, and the staff applauded him for his honesty and decided to give him a room upgrade. Honestly, that kind of money is life changing. I truly wonder how many people would have turned it into the staff. I bet you anything this man probably possibly regretted his decision afterwards. I would have definitely felt morally obliged to tell the truth, but it would have hurt my soul like at the same time. In our number one spot we have a baby, yup. A baby was found in a hotel room once in Mexico by a couple. They opened their door only to find the baby lying on their bed in a blanket. Not knowing what to do and also not knowing Spanish very well, they tried to speak to the front desk lady over the phone but she wasn't understanding them. So they brought the baby down to the front desk only to be approached by a crying lady and two cops and one of them handcuffed the couple. After a translator was found to smooth over the situation, the couple was told that the baby belonged to one of the cleaning staff who was new to the hotel and she couldn't remember the room she left her baby in and since she was new, she was too scared to tell her boss that she brought her baby into work, let alone forgot the room. So she ended up telling her friend and her friend called the cops. Wow, what a wild situation to get caught up in. I bet that's a story they will never forget. Starting off this countdown, we have the comforters. So when you stay at a hotel, you expect your room to be nicely made up, right? Clean sheets, fresh towels, and blankets. Well, that's not always the case. One of the dirtiest things in a hotel room is the comforters. They never wash them. That's right. Imagine how much work that would be to wash thousands of heavy comforters that take up so much room in the washer. So instead, they just don't wash them. Meanwhile, they are being used by hundreds of people. And who knows what they do on them. Seriously, it's disgusting. Also, those little extra blankets the hotel has, yeah, those are never washed as well. Whatever you do, don't look at those under a black light. You will be scarred forever by the amounts of fluids and stains on them. I swear, you're better off bringing your own bedding with you next time you go to a hotel. At number nine, we have Peekaboo. The relationships we have with hotel workers and ourselves are built on trust. We just trust each other to not do anything weird. And it's moments like these that make it hard to trust the hotel staff. A couple in Mexico was staying at a resort and they noticed something strange in their hotel room. There was a large hole in the bathroom, a hole about the size of a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger than that. They called the front desk who went to investigate. It shouldn't have been anything weird, right? Well, that's when they found out that the hole led to a maintenance room where a camera had been set up who was filming everyone who went to the bathroom there. Someone had been spying on people in their bathroom and recording it for who knows how long. They quickly switched rooms and then who knows what happened from there. I have no idea if the peeping Tom was ever caught. At number 8 we have guns. Jim Angleton probably wanted a very secure place to spend the night, but I don't think he thought that would ever mean getting a firearm fully loaded and left in his room. I think if you want to have a gun in your room, you're just going to bring your own gun. You don't need someone else's gun floating around. You don't know if it works well or if it was recently used in a crime. Well, it didn't matter if that's what he wanted because that's what he got. He was staying at a hotel and everything seemed nice and prepped for him. But when he laid down on the bed, it seemed like something hard was under the pillow. And then he lifted up the pillow and surprise, there was a fully loaded handgun with the safety off just chilling underneath the pillow. Thank God it didn't go off. If it shot him 
but it didn't kill him, he would have this strange fear of pillows for the rest of his life. And then if it did kill him, his friends and family would have to hear the story of how he got killed by a pillow. Not exactly the most manly way to die. Well, he told the front desk who quickly came to take care of the problem, and because of this crazy mishap, he got upgraded to a nice room. Not too shabby. If I knew that's how this worked, I would just start planting guns in every place I stayed. Which actually might end up being more expensive. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't. I don't know what the math on that is. At number seven, we have how many feet do you have? It's normal to leave a little bit of a mess behind when you stay at a hotel, but you don't want to be a complete slob because you know someone has to come and clean it up after because we're still trying to be a civil human being. You don't want to treat your cleaning staff like that. That's just rude. But this story is just crazy. Redditor Pool with no ladder used to work at the front desk of a hotel and he would get to hear all the crazy stories the cleaners would come back with. One day he said that there was a room that was covered in Toenails. Two people have been staying there for a weekend, so even if they cut all their fingernails and their toenails, there should be only 40 nails maximum. But the cleaner has said that there were hundreds of them scattered everywhere, like to the point where if you tiptoed through the room, you would get stabbed with a little nail in your toe. It's so gross. How does that even end up happening? They went in there with like a bag of toenails and just started throwing it all over the room? This is disgusting. And number six, we have I feel 10 pounds lighter. Now, some people have conditions that cause their bodies to act in weird ways, like having really bad dry skin. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't think you would want to be the person who was in charge of cleaning the tub after they gave themselves a little bit of a scrub down and all their loose skin was floating around. A cleaning person at the Hilton Hotel came to find a tub that had something strange going on. All over the dead sides was a ton of dead skin, like enough to fill a Ziploc bag. An elderly man had just been staying there and I guess he decided this was the best time to give himself a deep clean. The girl who was supposed to clean the room gagged and ran out and I didn't get details as to whether or not she came back to finish the job. I know, I wouldn't have. At number five we have that's not what that's for. Redditor user Arlie77 had a very strange thing happen to her when she was staying at a Hilton. I don't know if you can even blame the cleaning staff for this one because who thinks about cleaning the ice tray? But Arlie77 went to make some ice with the ice tray and when she found the ice tray it was already full but there wasn't water in it, there was human poop. Someone was trying to make poopsicles out of their own dung. For what purpose? I will never know. Maybe you need to keep your toilet water cold. This would make me never trust anything in a hotel room again. Oh my god, it's disgusting. And number four, we have we're in the middle of something. Please, whatever you do, knock before you come into any room. Frankly, even your own room. You never know if there's gonna be something creepy going on in there. This Reddit user deleted their account so I couldn't get their name, but they did say that they used to work as a bellboy and they would have to deliver room service from time to time to different rooms. One night a room ordered four bottles of champagne. They must have been celebrating something. Well, it looks like they were celebrating a rap party because the people in there were in the middle of shooting a porno when he opened the door. They were probably like, hey kid, put the champagne down on the table. And have you ever thought about being on camera? At number three, we have party room. You walk into your hotel room and the first thing you think is, oh my God, what happened in here? This is horrible. And then the second thing you think is, oh, someone had a really good time. Redditor goddess, and that's goddess spelled two big G's, a little O, two big D's, a little E, and then two big S's, left a story behind on why she quit her job in the hospitality industry. She was working as a hotel cleaner and walked into a room that looked like it was the most insane party of all time. Let's go down the list of things that were all over the room. Condoms filled with semen everywhere. Stains all over every part of the room. Mystery stains as well as blood smears on the wall like identifiable stains. Crack pipes and heroin needles all over the place. And to top it off, there was a bunch of puke. Puke on the walls, puke around the toilet, puke on the floor. And the biggest mystery was how puke got on the ceiling. How does that even happen? Did someone perform an exorcism in this room? Well, she got the front desk to call the police and the crazy the crazy thing is, after the cops left, the people she worked for still wanted her to clean the room and so she did the smart thing and quit her job. No one should force you. The heroin needles, you don't clean that up. And number two, we have signs of escape. People using sleazy hotels as a way to traffic humans isn't just a thing people throw into 
low budget movies as a trope. It's actually something that happens in real life. There was a flight attendant who was forced to stay at a crummy hotel because a flight she was supposed to work on got delayed due to snow. This wasn't super uncommon, but she noticed something strange about the room. There was markings all over the door next to the lock. She realized someone had drilled a lock into the door so it could be sealed from the outside. There was also scratches all over the radiator like something metal had been rubbing against it, like someone had been chained to it. She called the front desk who then called the police, but it turns out the person who was staying there gave fake information and they couldn't be tracked down. That is a very terrifying. And for the number one spot we have I left a present for you. The Redditor Broadway rocks has taken the cake on this one. She used to work in a hotel where a family had been staying for a month. Their house had burned down so they had nowhere to go and you want to feel bad for them but they were absolutely awful to the staff, yelling at them and the father would constantly hit on all the female employees like super gross. One day they left to go visit friends and the hotel staff saw this as an opportunity to clean their suite because they were never allowed to go inside there. When they walked in there was a horrible smell and after further inspection they found that someone had taken a poop in the microwave and was running it like they were heating the poo to get the poo smell everywhere. Someone was trying to cook a poop in that place. Then they opened the fridge and they found more turds. There was turds in the drawers of the fridge. On top of that they had jars of leeches for some unknown reason. These people were removed from the hotel and then charged an immense fee for the amount of damage they did and pooping in the microwave. <laughs> 